I'm not even too sure what's going to happen with the Russian sushi bar. I'm not even going to, I don't even want to know what's going to happen next. Literally, everyone's going towards that area saying, look, we all need to get there right now. I'm not even too sure. I'm really just all like, I need to get there to Kyohei. Just saying, I need to get there. I have my reasons I need to get there. Just get me there. And then Kyohei's seeing your eyes like, this is getting a bit bad, but I'm not going to ask anything. I can't see in your eyes now. So, yeah. I don't know who's sure what's going to happen. Mikado's got a gun. Chikago's going to beat some people up. Chikago's going to become my favorite character in the, in the anime. Chikago's a freaking babe. Masomi's just watching from the top. I'm not even too sure what's going to go down in Rushing Sushi. But whatever it is, it's going to get freaking damn intense. And it's going to be freaking damn cool. No, oh, I just don't know, but it's going to be freaking cool. But anyway, that wasn't for me the biggest part of the episode. For me the biggest part of the episode was actually Shinra. Since Shinra actually overcoming Psycho's power, saying, I'm in love with a monster. And then Psycho's all like, I can't actually do this. Because we you know Psycho kind of loves humans in its own, like, kind of derived way. In a sense, kind of like possesses humans but through love. But the love's kind of like really strange. It's kind of like not human love. But it's kind of like weird love through pain love. And then basically, yeah, Shinra's all like, I'm in love with a human, love with a cell deep. So in that regard, he kind of overrides Psycho's like love and says, I'm actually now human again. So actually now he actually has Psyche inside him. So we're not even too sure he might be able to possess Psyche and say, look, okay, I'm actually a demon now. And since his like past was like kind of revealing that like if he if he lost all his humanity, anything he lost, if he had Celti by his side, he didn't care. So he would become a demon for for he cares. But if as long as he's got Celti by his side, it doesn't matter. That's kind of like noble thing. But still, you're a deranged nut, John, so I'm not too sure what's going to happen with you. Not even really, I just don't want to know what right now what will happen with Shinra, because I'm not even too sure whether he actually will then see Celti with the head and say, okay, this is going to be a bit weird, what am I going to do with this? Will I cut a head off and get back original Celti? But we all know if he cuts off the head, if we're not too sure whether she might regain the memories she had before. But then it kind of builds the question, she actually saved Shizuo in the explosion that Isaiah caused when they were fighting. So I'm not even too sure whether she still remembers Shizuo, but not Isaiah, in a sense Isaiah is kind of like... What? He's not like, yeah, I beat him! And it's like, no. But we're not even too sure, because we know Celti kind of like inadvertently saves him, and that's what basically drives kind of like Shinra's like memory thing. Celti, and it's kind of like makes him back to reality. I don't even know too sure what's going to happen with that. So Celti might remember Shinra and Shizuo, but not Isaiah. I don't even freaking know, because it, cause she's really passive towards him when she first meets him, like saying, get out of the way, it's kind of like, not even too sure, not even too sure what's going to happen, hopefully we don't actually see the like the point where he just basically was decapitated ahead and say, well, I want original Celti back, I don't want Celti like this, we all know he kind of says, I will love you anyway, but I just don't freaking damn know, <laughs> literally, there's too much stuff going on, there's too many twists in his anime, just not even too sure what's going to happen, if someone spoils it, we'll literally like kind of cry inside, but, no, that for me, what like that for me was the biggest part of the episode, but it's also another part with, with Shinra's kind of like analysis of Isaiah saying, look, he's actually more human than people imagine because we all know he doesn't actually kind of get offended, he doesn't actually get like, kind of feel anything towards humans. He loves them like dearly, but he doesn't feel anything towards them in that in like a broader spectrum, so he doesn't get offended. He tries like kind of, he's more of like a kind of like a weirdo sociopath. He doesn't kind of like he he loves humans, but he doesn't feel emotions towards them, so he doesn't kind of like feel emotion. So basically anything that will actually cause an emotion or distress or suffering will actually affect him badly because some one of the characters is asking Shinra what affects him the most. Basically just trying to say, yo, okay, well this is basically what happens. If he gets anything that's like kind of affecting him dearly or suffer making him suffer, it will affect him dearly. It will actually make him human again. His soul's more fragile than you actually imagine. It's kind of like Okay, so we actually know he's actually more human than people led on to believe. We know we know that if he has anything that will actually kind of affect him badly, it will kind of kill him inside. So it's kind of like, it begs the question, what will actually drive into the point of becoming a human again? It's kind of it's kind of like a really weird and really like kind of cool concept that will happen later on to the anime. And hopefully they do actually explore it. But, with all that said of being driver, if you leave a like, do leave it quite a bit. Or leave, one, leave one, leave a like, do leave a like, do leave a sub, 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 do